Long division, using the standard algorithm. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is like a set of math instructions. You can follow the steps to solve a math equation. It's basically a shortcut you can use to quickly solve even very complicated equations. You probably already know some algorithms, like the addition algorithm, the subtraction algorithm, and the multiplication algorithm. Look familiar? The long division algorithm has five steps. If we follow them correctly, we can solve any division problem. So what are they, and what do they have to do with a cheeseburger? To remember the five steps for long division, just remember, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? The does stands for divide, and that's the first step in the algorithm. McDonald's stands for multiply. Sell is subtract. Cheese is check, and burgers is bring down. So if you can remember, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, you can remember the five steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. Let's try one out. We'll divide 46 divided by two. So the first step is to divide. I'm dividing everything by the two in this problem. The two is the divisor. So that's always gonna be the number I'm dividing by. I'm gonna start with the four, the first digit under the bracket, and divide it by two. Four divided by two is two. That goes on top. The answers, the quotient, always goes on top of the bracket. So that was step one. I divided four by two, and I got two and put it on top. Now, step two, multiply. I'm going to take that two I put on top of my bracket and multiply it back by the divisor, by the other two. Two times two is four. And that goes right underneath the other four. And that sets me up for the next step, step three, which is to subtract. I've kind of set myself up by lining up the two fours. And now I can subtract four minus four, which is zero. Okay, step four is to check. Check what? Well, I need to check that this number I ended up with down on the bottom, zero, is less than two. Because if it's not less than two, then I messed something up and I need to go back and fix it. Is zero less than two? Yes, zero is less than two. So, all right, I've checked and that's all good to go. Now, step five, bring down. So this whole time I've been working with that four under the bracket, the four. Now I need to work with the six. So I'm gonna bring it down to sit right next to the zero. And now we go through all five steps again, but this time using the six, the other digit. So step one, divide. This time I'm dividing six divided by two, which is three. And remember, every time you divide, the answer to that goes on top of the bracket because that's where the answer to a division problem goes. And now step two, multiply. I'm gonna take that three that I just wrote down and multiply it by the two, and three times two is six. And that goes right under the other six. That gets me nice and lined up for step three, which is subtract. Six minus six is zero. Okay, I'm on step four. Check. Is zero less than two? Yes, it is, which means I'm ready for the final step. Bring down. But there's nothing left to bring down. If I had another digit, if this was a three-digit dividend and there was another digit next to the six, I would bring that down and keep going. I don't have any more digits, so I'm done. When there's nothing left to bring down, you're done. And our answer is on top, 23. Now, it's a good idea to use multiplication to check your answer. So to do that, you write down your answer, your quotient, 23, and you multiply it by your divisor, which in this problem is two. And you should get the dividend, 46. Let's see if we do. Two times three is six, and two times two is four. Okay, so our answer is correct. 
Let's try dividing with a three digit dividend. This means we're gonna go through all five steps three times. We're gonna do the steps for each of the digits in the dividend, the six, the nine, and the three, like this. Step one, divide. We're gonna start with the six and divide it by three. And that is two, so I put a two on top. Step two, multiply. Two times three is six. Step three, subtract. Six minus six is zero. Step four, check. Is zero less than three? Yes. So now I can move on and bring down the nine to sit right next to the zero. And now I start over again, this time using the nine. So I'm going to divide nine divided by three, which is three. And remember, every time you divide, it goes on top because that's where the answer to a division problem goes. Step two, multiply. That three that I just wrote up there in my answer, I'm gonna multiply it times three, the divisor, and I'm gonna write it down underneath the other nine and that sets me up for subtraction. Nine minus nine is zero. Check, is zero less than three? Yes, bring down. I do have another digit to bring down. I'm gonna bring the three down all the way down to sit next to the zero and now I have to go through the steps one more time this time using the three so here we go again divide three divided by three is one multiply one times three is three subtract three minus three is zero check is zero less than three? Yes. Bring down, but there's nothing left to bring down, so I am finished. This is my answer, 231. Let's use multiplication to check. 231 times three. Let's see if we get the dividend. Three times one is three, three times three is nine, and three times two is six. So we did get the dividend, and this is the correct answer to this division problem. Now, you know what's coming, a four digit dividend. Remember, we go through all five steps for each digit in the dividend, so that means we need to use does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers four times here. Let's start with the two, the very first digit under the bracket. We're gonna do two divided by nine. Now, this is kind of tricky because nine doesn't go into two. You can't divide two into nine groups. Nine goes into two zero times. So we're actually gonna put a zero on top of our bracket because I can't divide two by nine evenly. I'm just gonna put a zero up there. And then I'm gonna multiply it. Zero times nine, which is zero. That goes under the two. Subtract. Two minus zero is two. Check. Is two less than nine? Yes. Bring down. I'm gonna bring the eight down to sit right next to the two. Now, when I did that, I created the number 28. So now I'm gonna divide 28 divided by nine. Now, nine doesn't go into 28 evenly either. 28 divided by nine is three remainder one. But I'm not gonna worry about the remainder right now. The remainder will take care of itself. You'll see it in a minute. I'm just gonna focus on the three. 28 divided by nine is three. If I have 28 of something, I can make three groups of nine. So that goes on top, three. And then I multiply. Three times nine is 27. And then I subtract. 28 divided by 27 is one. There's the remainder. See, see how I said it would take care of itself? It's worked its own self into the problem. That one that's left over when we subtract, that's the remainder. So we don't have to worry about it. It works itself out. All right, step four, check. Is one less than nine? Yes, it is. And now bring down. We have a six next. So we'll bring the six down. When it sits next to that one that was left over, it makes the number 16. So that's what we're gonna divide with. We're gonna do 16 divided by nine. Once again, we have a remainder, but remember, we don't have to worry about it. Nine goes into 16 one time. Multiply. 
1 times 9 is 9. Subtract. 16 minus 9 is 7. There's that remainder. He, he got himself in there. Step 4, check. Is 7 less than 9? Yes, it is. And then I'm going to bring down my final digit, 2, and it sits right next to 7. And when it does, it creates the number 72. So we have to go through the steps one more time, this time with 72. 72 divided by 9 is 8, and that goes up top. 8 times 9 is 72. 72 minus 72 is 0. Check. Is 0 less than 9? Definitely. And there is nothing left to bring down. So we are finished with this problem, and our answer is 318. Let's check it using multiplication. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 1 is 9, plus the 7 that I carried over there is 16. 9 times 3 is 27, plus one more is 28. So this is the correct answer. We have one more type of problem to look at, and that is when we have a remainder. So we solve it the exact same way, okay? We're gonna divide eight divided by three first, which is two remainder two. Don't worry about the remainder, just put that two up top, and then we can multiply. Two times three, six. Subtract, eight minus six is two. Check. Is two less than three? Yes. So then go ahead and bring down that other digit, the six, to sit right next to the two, and then go through the steps again. This time starting with 26. So let's divide. 26 divided by three, three goes into 26 eight times. Yes, there's a remainder, he'll work himself out. Multiply, eight times three is 24. Subtract, 26 minus 24 is two, there's that remainder. Check, is two less than three? Yes. Bring down, nothing left to bring down. You can see here I'm done with the problem, but for the first time, it didn't end at zero, it actually ended at two. The two is the remainder. Do not forget to write this up there with your answer. The remainder is part of the final answer. So we have 28, remainder two. That's very important. Now, let's check it. To check a division problem with a remainder, we just take the quotient, the answer, 28, multiply it by the divisor. Okay, I got 84, and then I have to add the remainder to that, and I should get my dividend, let's see. I did, this is the correct answer. So let's review those steps really quickly. Remember, you're gonna go through all five of these steps of the algorithm for each digit in the dividend. Does means divide. McDonald's, multiply, sell, subtract, cheese, check, burgers, bring down. If you can remember, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers, then you can remember, divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. And you can just do those steps for each of the digits in the dividend, and you're in there. Now, this strategy takes some time to get used to. At first, there's a lot going on. It's gonna feel confusing. That's okay. Just keep trying, keep practicing, keep working through the steps, and eventually, this is gonna be a really quick, easy, and efficient way to solve long division problems. Eventually, after enough time and practice, it's gonna click, and you're really gonna like the standard algorithm for division. This video was created by LaFontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.